So you want to learn how to braid. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm going to break it down in easy step-by-step -step steps to show you how to braid. This is gonna be the only braiding tutorial that you need to watch here on YouTube because I'm gonna make it easy for you. I know you're probably struggling. Some of you are probably like, I can't do this, this is too hard, I'm never gonna get it. No, you will. Don't think like that, think positively, you can totally do this. So, with your positive mindset, let's jump right into this braiding tutorial. Okay, you guys, so first I want to introduce myself. My name is Bethany. I forgot to introduce myself in the intro. So if you're new, welcome to my channel, and my name is Bethany. So starting off with these braids, I'm going to start off with Shine and Jam. As you guys can see, I have two different things going on my head. One side is blow-dried, and one side is my naturally curly texture. I wanted to show you both because some people don't want to stretch their hair by blow-drying, so I just wanted to show both. But I'm taking the Shine and Jam, and I'm smoothing it onto both sides of the part the part is not perfected yet i will fix that but first i just want to make sure that both sides are like not frizzy and sticking up next i'm going to take the shine and jam and i'm going to line my part with it and the reason i'm doing this is to help me to make the part super crisp and straight um, i actually didn't do this all the way down the back of my head i guess i got a little bit lazy or distracted but this is a really good tip just to help to give you a really crisp and clean part and then i'm using the comb just to blend that in and then i'm going to follow the comb all the way to the back of my head i thought showing you guys a view of the back of my head would help you guys see it from different angles and really help you guys grasp the concept of everything that i'm doing so once you have both sides separated, I'm going to completely section off the side of my hair that I don't want to use. And I'm going to make sure that the side that I'm focusing on braiding is completely detangled. You do not want to try to braid your hair when it's tangled. It's not going to work, sis. Not going to work, sir. Not going to work. So I'm taking some more Shine and Jam. Yes, we are loading up on the Shine and Jam today, okay, people? We want to make sure that our edges are very smooth and that there's no frizzy bits sticking out anywhere. And then we're going to take the brush again and we're gonna smooth it all in now you see me kind of brushing my hair in the direction that I want it to go in the braid that's just gonna help me make sure that I don't have hair going in a million directions when you're doing your braids you want the hair to file neatly into the braid and not to just be like just so random so I'm gonna even brush the edges kind of up how I want them to go so starting the braid, braids are made of three sections. When you do this, you take an outside section, you put it under the middle, outside, under the middle, outside, under the middle. So basically that outside section is switching places with the middle section. And that is what makes a braid. This is the concept of a basic braid. And I wanted to show you that guys that first, just so that you guys can understand what we're doing. The only thing that's different about a cornrow is that we are gonna add sections. When we switch the middle and the outside section, we're gonna add some hair from the rest of our head. So I'm going to make a small triangle in the top of my head and I'm gonna split it into three sections. One, two, and three. Once you have your three sections, you're going to begin by putting the outside section, whichever you choose to do first, under the middle section. You guys, I'm trying to move my head so you can see. Outside, under the middle. Outside, other side, under the middle. And when I go under the middle, I'm grabbing a little bit of hair just from that side. Outside, under the middle. Sometimes I use my, my, my other hand to scoop that hair right in there so that's where i grabbed it with my pointer finger with the hands in this placement you see my elbows are in the air with the elbows in the air method you're using a pinching me method of your thumb and your pointer finger to grab that hair so we're going to scoop some hair right and add it to that section we just grabbed now i'm going to use my other pointer finger and i'm going to grab the outside section and i'm going to add some hair to it I'm going to use my pointer fingers, there they go, under and grab. And I'm going to continue this the entire braid, I'm going to continue explaining it. So I'm using my opposite hand to add some hair into that little pincher. Here we go, pincher's going under the middle section and it's grabbing the outside section and we're going to add some hair to it and I have three sections again. Now I'm going to take that hand, my right hand use my pincher 
go under the middle section, grab the outside section, and add some hair to it. Now you wanna make sure that you're pulling this braid tight every stroke you take. Pincher, grabbing that outside section and adding some hair to it. So you wanna make sure that you're smoothing out the hair as you're braiding and pulling tight under the middle section. Grab some hair and grab it into that pincher. If you guys look in this smaller window, you guys can see this really, really well. So we're gonna grab that pincher, sneak it through and then we're gonna add some hair from the side and add it to that pincher. Again, we're gonna peek our fingers through. Look at the bottom window, you see the finger coming through? Now we're gonna take some hair. I'm making sure it's flat. Looking at the smaller picture, there we go. We grabbed it, I'm making sure it's smooth. And then we're grabbing that last section and then we're doing it again. This is how a braid is formed, you guys. Outside section, under the middle section, outside section, under the middle section. If you have to say it out loud, it'll help you get it as well. You want to add that hair in as you do it, and then we're gonna take the outside section that's in my right hand right now and put it under the middle section. There you go. And hopefully you guys will be able to just follow along with me with your own hair. Do it as I'm saying it. That way you can keep practicing and then you'll get a muscle memory of it. You'll get a muscle memory and it'll be very easy to do. And that's what makes it hard for a lot of braiders to explain what they're doing because it's like their body's taking over and just doing it. But I'm trying my best to explain it as good as possible. And a lot of you guys found my last tutorial helpful. So that's why I am doing another one because that one was a little cringe to look at for me. And a lot of you guys have been viewing it lately. So I'm gonna do the same thing all the way down. And when I get to the bottom of the braid, I'm gonna keep my hand in the same hand placement until I get further enough down. You wanna do that just so that it doesn't loosen up your braid right at the nape of your neck. Sometimes if your braid gets loose at the nape, it's just that you let go of it too quickly before you got further enough down and it just kind of loosened up. And this takes practice to keep it tight, but if you guys can focus on getting the concept of braiding first and then work on tightening up your braids and making them smooth and all that stuff. Because if they're not perfectly smooth, we can fix that and mine's are not even perfect here and I'll show you how to do that. But I'm gonna continue braiding all the way to the end it was very late at night when I was filming this and I was kind of unbothered to go back and fix. I feel like this braid could have looked better at the bottom, but I, um, I, was, I couldn't be bothered fixing it, to be honest. So I'm gonna braid it all the way to the end and then I'm gonna secure it with an elastic band. If you're not following me on Instagram already, be sure to follow me at The Beth Method for even more fun content. And there we have it. One braid is done. And now I'm taking some more Shine and Jam. Yes, more, 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 honey. Just put it, just put it up there. And I'm gonna use the tail, the rat tail of my rat tail comb to kind of smooth things in. I'm gonna comb it. And then I like to use the rat tail to kind of like tuck th those underneath of the braid. And then you can kind of tug on the braid in different areas to kind of perfect it and make it look perfect or bigger if you want um, and just kind of fluff it out a little bit. And that is one braid done. And now for the other side of my head. Now, even though I am doing this in its naturally curly state, my hair was previously detangled, but if you have natural hair, you know that the hair has no respect for the detangling that you already did. So I really had to go in and make sure that my hair was detangled. I'm not tugging at my hair, like it's not like it's so super bad. So that's why I'm fine with brushing it dry. Um, but I had to even section it into two sections just to really get through it because when the hair is so thick and so tangled, it's gonna be impossible to braid. So if you're gonna be braiding on your natural hair, you need to make sure it is thoroughly detangled. And you can do it on wet hair if you want, but for me, I like the more elongated look of my braids, and I didn't want them looking too different. And so because I wanted to look stretched, I did it dry. So here we go again. Pause. You guys see my elbows? My elbows are down. We have a downward section, I mean a downward 
facing elbows. They are not high up in the air, they are lower. This is a different arm placement. I'm gonna show you guys how this one is going to work. So for this, we are still sectioning a triangle into three sections. For this one, we are gonna be using our middle finger. And our middle finger is going to be going underneath of the middle section and scooping up the outside section. This is easier for some people. So if this one's for you, go ahead and do it, girl. We're gonna add some hair and scoop it under. We're gonna do it again. We are going to pull tight, middle finger under the middle section and over the outside section and scoop up some hair. So this one is not the pincher motion. This is all about that middle finger, not trying to you know, be rude to you guys, <laughs> obviously, but we're putting that middle finger underneath and we're scooping it up. Again, middle finger under and scoop scoop there you go and just take your time this doesn't have to be fast that's why I'm not speeding it up because I want you guys to see you have to really take your time with this we're scooping up some hair there you go there that there we go we scooped it up and now we're going to put the other middle finger underneath and we're gonna scoop up some more there we go again middle finger under and scoop so each time we do this, it's the same concept. We're gonna take the outside section and we're gonna put it under the middle section and we're going to add some hair. And then we're gonna do it on the other side. We're gonna take the outside section, middle finger, goes under the middle section to scoop that outside section. And then they switch places, just like that. So again, middle finger under the middle section, add some hair to that section. You can see better in the bottom window. Add some hair to that section. There you go. And then we are going to switch again, middle finger under and grab. Middle finger under and grab. Again, middle finger, under, and grab. And then we're just gonna continue. Middle finger, under, and grab. Middle finger, under, and grab. And sometimes it's kind of hard, especially if you have nails. This is way easier without nails. My braids always look better when I don't have nails. But, you know, what are you gonna do? So when you get down here, my hair, it just looks like a dirty broom, okay? So I'm gonna braid down a couple of rotations and then I'm going to have to brush this hair out. We cannot continue to braid tangled hair. We cannot do it, people. So you just wanna make sure that, that that hair is just not tangled. Am I gonna, okay, I'm using my fingers to do it. I'm about to say, sis, oh, there's the brush, okay. Cause I was about to say, I know you're not gonna braid this hair looking crazy like this, but I'm going to finish it off with an elastic band once again. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I did to the other side. I'm gonna take the shine and jam. I'm gonna smooth down the parts that are sticking up. They're not looking right. They're not looking as pretty because braids don't always turn out perfect every time. But that doesn't mean that the, you can't fool people. You can fool them. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna comb it down. We're gonna brush it. We're gonna make it look good. By the way, if you want to see content on hair or motherhood or both, then definitely subscribe to this channel because that's exactly what you're going to get. Alright, and now I'm going to take some Shine and Jam on my edge brush and I am going to do my edges that I left out. Now, um, edge art is not really something that I've ever done ever. This is my first time. And so instead of showing you guys, I decided to kind of just skip over it, gloss over it. And when I get better at it, maybe I will do a tutorial, but I just, I had to get off. I had to, I had to stop filming it because it was taking too long. Okay, you guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out. I hope that you guys can just keep practicing and learning. This is something that you have to practice. It's not going to be perfect the first time, but you have to keep trying. I promise you that you can do it. I know some of you guys were in the comments of my older version of this video. Some of you guys were struggling and some of you guys said that you found it really helpful. So I hope this one helps you guys even more. And if it did, definitely consider subscribing to my channel for more hair content. I post weekly about hair and motherhood and 
hair and motherhood together <laughs> because I have a four-year-old daughter that has a lot of hair. So if you are interested in that type of content, then subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another video. So I love you guys and thank you so much for your support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.